everyone. So today I wanted to um, have our episode about the Owl Let's Try This series include about our feet. Now, foot pain should never be underestimated. A lot of us like to wear these, and after a long time, look what can happen to them. They get all distorted just because of our foot's natural stride and walking patterns and stuff. And these then end up lacking a lot of the support that we need to walk comfortably. Um, similar things can happen with our sneakers, too, after they're... <laughs> you know, it never fails. One of my videos always has, or most of my videos always have something. I'm gonna need that in a minute. Um, so our sneakers kind of tend to do the same type of imprinting over time in the insoles. Um, you know, as they wear out, you know, the, our foot's natural imprint will end up settling in. So, get these out of the way. So besides that, of course, a long day on our feet at work or walking around, you know, being a tourist somewhere, all of that can just lead to different types of foot pain. So today I wanted to show you a few different ways on how to combat that and some stretches that we can do to get some of the, oh, kind of the ex extra stressful feelings that we can feel in our feet, just, you know, stress on, you know, maybe the arch or maybe on certain muscles inside, how to get that to stretch out and relax again. Um, some, this can actually help a lot if you uh, experience any kind of foot cramping or just simply tired, aching feet from a long day. All right, so um, first thing I'm going to show you is a way to massage. I'm going to grab the thing that rolled away. Okay, so I brought two things. Uh, for people with larger feet than me, <laughs> a tennis ball actually works really well. I ended up bringing two. I brought a golf ball because the size of a golf ball is actually much better for the size of my, my foot. I wear size of six, six and a half, so I need like a smaller object for this. And then, um, I actually, this isn't really a tennis ball, it's actually a cat toy, but I figure you should probably have one that has no give, or almost no give in it when you squish it, and one that has a little bit of squish with it. This has a soft exterior and a harder exterior, or interior, so that way you can like feel a little bit of a squish in there. Okay, so start with... Just rolling your foot over it, just sitting down, nice and easy, rolling your foot over the surface of the ball, going, like I said, the softer one first. Okay. This is kind of like the concept of foam rolling, except foam rollers don't always have the surface that's most conducive for rolling out your feet. Great for other parts of you though. It's just your feet are usually too small. Now the foam rollers that have like little knobbies on the outside, that's a different story. I have one of those, but I find that a ball just works a lot better. And you can more be able to target the surfaces of like your toes and between your toes. And actually getting in there, as you can kind of sort of see. And around the heel. Because the outside of the heel that needs a little bit of attention too. Okay. All right, and then of course you want to do get to that one later. The other side, because that would feel really uneven if I treated one foot not the other. Okay, so now you can kind of see from a different angle what I'm doing. And this is something you can do any time when you finally get a chance to sit down after that long day. It's a great way to make your feet feel so much better, and you are actually stretching out the muscles too. You're making your toes and like the, the muscles in the arch and your heel, you know, you're kind of making them all stretch out in different ways. So it is kind of like stretching. All right, now I'm gonna move over to the golf ball. So now that things are starting to be loosened up, now I can really get in there. And wow, what a difference. I like the texture of a golf ball on the surface of my foot because, I don't know, it just feels like that extra texture that's massaging. And you always want to try to get around the outside if, like around the perimeter of your feet, I guess. That's a good way to say it. But do not neglect the heels. I know if anywhere is going to hurt on my feet, it's always going to be the heels. I have extra heel insoles in some of my walking shoes just for that purpose. Alright, you can do that for as long as you want. And then switch over to the other side. Do this for a little bit. I want to make sure I get toes on the side too. really, really good, actually. I haven't done this in a while. Kind of nice to treat myself, I guess. 
make sure I get the heel on the side. Okay. Alright. If this wasn't an instructional video, I would probably be doing more of that. Okay, next thing. So, I want to show you a few actual stretches that you can do for your feet. Um, you can do them either sitting or standing. I am actually going to stand because I find I get a deeper stretch when I stand. So it's not like you're going to actually stand on the foot that's bending. You're going to put the weight on the foot that's supporting, and you're just going to lean into it. Almost like you're trying to bend your toes. And you go as far as you can, as long as you feel a stretch and no pain. This might look obscene. I don't know. I don't know how flexible feet are supposed to be, but I'll tell you what. This is where I actually feel the stretch. Okay. And then you go the opposite direction, where you're bending your toes in, backwards. Okay, I'm keeping the, uh, the weight of myself on this side, but I'm bending my knee in order to deepen the stretch. Okay, I might even like rock my foot over to the other side so I can experience it more on my big toe. Could do the breathing techniques from other videos that we've experienced. You could do that. And then you switch. So I'm going to do this one first. And if you're not feeling relief by this point, after these few exercises and a massage, you could absolutely re, uh, repeat these steps. Like, I think if my feet were really, really, really aching, I would probably do two rounds of these. But for the purpose of this video, I think you can definitely get the idea. Okay, so now I've flipped to go backwards. So my toes are pointing in back. ankle to the opposite direction, kind of like shift the weight of my leg to the opposite way so that I can feel it in all of my toes. And actually, I think I want to do one more. I feel like I could have gotten a better stretch. There we go. That feels good. And it should always feel good. It should never feel painful. If anything, you should feel the pain you already had going away. Okay. And then, because we shouldn't be neglecting our ankle, I'm going to show you a couple of ankle stretches, too. There's a couple of really easy ones. You sit down with these. shouldn't be standing. You could cause yourself to lose some balance. So you stick out one foot, and ankle rolls. Nice and easy. And you go around several times. If you're like me, you can feel things popping sometimes. <laughs> and then you go around the other way. And you want this to feel easy. You want it to feel nice and relaxing. And then you switch. Bunch of rotations on this side. And I'm not being very formal about how I'm aligning my legs. I just have, like, one knee outstretched a little bit. You know, none of this, like, oh, you have to have it straight out, perfect alignment. This is not a strength exercise. This is something to relieve achiness soreness, stiffness, the ankle down. Okay, and I've already switched directions. I don't know if you saw that. All right, feels good. Okay, and then the last one that I want to show you today, something similar, but more of just like point and flex. I like this flex because I can definitely feel it. And you are actually stretching out the muscles in your feet, as well as in your legs as well. Um, you know, I would say I feel it mostly in my calves. But I guess a little bit in my shins and up here. So a few pairs of pointing and flexing. But don't just do like point, flex, point, flex. You don't really have time to observe and feel what the stretch is feeling like. Is it too much? Is it too little? Can you deepen it? Should you lessen it? If you're just going point, flex, point, flex, like we all did in elementary school for like gym class, it's not as effective. You know, give each movement some time so that you can observe what you need to do with it to optimize how it feels. I would say that rule is true for any stretch. Alright, and I'll go over to the other side now. So here's a flex. That one feels excellent in my calves. And a point. Now, what if your legs don't really have the energy to support 
sticking your foot out and doing pointing and flexing. You could absolutely support this part of your leg so that you're not, you know, pushing yourself as much. After all, this is supposed to be relaxing. This is supposed to be relieving. It's not meant to be a strength exercise. So, you could actually support yourself over here. What matters is what's happening down there. I'm just going to do a couple more points and flexes, and I'm done. Honestly, my feet already feel better. There we go. Okay, give me a little shake, and that's it. So, um, next time you, uh, you're you on your feet a whole lot, and you've got some soreness, or some achiness, or some stiffness, or something like that, try these out, see what you think, all right? And leave me a comment below on what you think, and uh, you know if this is something that could absolutely work for you in the future, all right? Thanks. Have a good day.